source. Voted best newscast and best weather. This is NBC 10 News, first at four. Today on your first at four, most of South Arkansas is now under a burn ban. We'll tell you everything you need to know. And Arkansas leaders are concerned about this school year as we are in desperate need of more teachers and less students are actually attending class. Plus, it was a hot weekend here in Arkansas. We'll take a look at what families across the national state did to keep cool. That and more in just a few minutes. But first, our top story. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for your first of four. I'm Cindy Langston with your South Arkansas News. In the news today, it may be cooler today, but excessive heat in South Arkansas has caused more than one problem for the area. This time, a burn ban. Union County has seen record temperatures so far this year, and under the extreme heat, a newly issued burn ban. Union County Judge Mike Lofton officially declared the burn ban earlier this morning, barring any burning at this time. The judge claims that the area is so dry that the slightest spark could cause devastation. If they get somebody calls in on them, the fire department will go out or the forestry department will go out, make them put out the fire, and it's at their discretion then whether to write a ticket or not. It won't go off until we get a significant amount of rainfall. And at this point, it's going to take quite a bit to get us to a point we don't need it. Remember, no burning means no outdoor campfires or leaf burning fireworks or the like. Also, another reminder not to throw cigarettes out your car window. Judge Lofton says under these dry conditions, it's important to call 911 immediately if you see a fire. Taking a look at what's going on at El Dorado this week, tonight at 6 